on Myrtle Beach this weekend. My husband's brother was unavailable, so he has drugged me to this car show against my will. Rakita, for those who are new here, where luxury has no limits, <sighs> and I'm at a car show. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm here. I'm being forced, okay, against my will. But I am here, and since I have to be here, you have to be here. That's what friends are for. So, in this video, we're going to see about this car show. Y'all gonna come camping with me? We're gonna do all the things, okay? So, I have child not. My baby daddy turning on the engine when I'm trying to film. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Y'all should be able to hear me. Okay, he turned it off. <laughs> so, okay, real quick, real quick. So, outfit of the day. Remember, I'm here. I'm camping. Car show. So, super casual. Just got on my long white sleeve t-shirt. My uh, um, skinny jeans. And then, I only brought one bag right loop bag so I'm gonna wear this with probably um cause it's chilly we at the beach so I'm probably gonna put oh this will work here we go I'm gonna put this cardigan over it and wear my brown Ugg loafers and boom we got a cute but I have been taken against my will going to a car show outfit and what that that's it that's all I got all right you know what I'm saying <laughs> all right let's go so we just had breakfast somebody didn't feel like cooking you know, he's not a good abductor, okay? If you're going to abduct me, at least you can do is feed me. But we just had breakfast, I guess. We're about to go to this car show. And of course, I'm gonna show y'all um, where I have been taken. Yes, taken. All right, see y'all there. I feel like that one. That reminds me of a, um, y'all know them old school gangster movies? That's cool. meaning yesterday so let, let, let me explain see what had happened was right I got to the core show and I saw a whole bunch of different food trucks snack trucks I was like well maybe I do want to be here okay <laughs> so um I forgot I forgot all about I forgot all about y'all I'm sorry but let me tell you something okay I ate my way through that car show. We were there for, I don't know, hours on top of hours on top of hours, like six hours, and I ate the whole time. I did. 
I stopped at this truck, walked a couple of aisles, then stopped at that one. Okay, point is, okay, <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't a good travel vlog. So, what I have decided to do, because y'all probably like, where you at? Like, what will you be at? Right? So, I'm going to take you guys around um, our 2021 J. Cole Precept. I'm going to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Because I, I really don't. I really don't. You know, I don't I don't really drive. Uh, my husband usually drives. He say I can't drive. You ain't hurt my feelings. Show for me around, sir. <laughs> so when it comes to the technical stuff, yeah. Okay. Um, hopefully, too, my side note, hopefully my glasses ain't glaring too much, but ain't nothing to do about that. Because I'm too lazy right now. It's early. We just got home. I ain't in the mood to put no contacts in, okay? And my glasses are probably dirty. But listen, let, that's not what we're here for, okay? Um, so let's get started with, with um, my motorhome tour, okay? All right, let's get started. <laughs> so let's start in the kitchen, right? So what I'm going to do... To make life easier, I'm going to just take y'all off the tripod and then walk y'all around. Okay, so I'm going to start from the door. That is the door. So, ugh. I'm coming up the steps and the first thing you see is my tripod. Child, this is, oh, this is unprofessional. Let me put that to the side. Okay. So, when you come up the stairs, you have... The captain's chair, then you have the co-pilot's chair, and then you have um, this jackknife sofa. This can also lay down flat um, as a bed. And then here in the stairway, oh, I'm going to show y'all my toes. That's not done. Chill! But here is like a little, I guess, entryway. We just keep baby wipes, my girl's leashes poop bags and then that's like a little tool kit down here are like the main controls main cabin power awning cabin lights you know things like that things like that so you come up the stairs of course again jackknife sofa um windows have both told y'all we home i'm ready Take a shower, go to sleep. But they come with privacy shades, and then no, I'm sorry, privacy shades, and then blackout curtains. And then up here is just storage. We just keep flashlights, um, firewood starter, pens, paper. Child, know what's in that stuff. I don't know. We have it mess with that stuff in a while it's just kind of like as you need and then a first aid kit so here above the oh come on light now because i ain't going to get no ring light this i'm sorry so above the cabin is a queen size bed so what i would need to do is unbuckle the seat belt and then use this key and button to bring the bed down and then so since we're here let's just go by so here is nothing child Ugh. so here is above the driver's seat i don't know what my husband keep in there besides the gps okay and then here's all those nifty controls it is an auto leveler and then dashboard here he keeps his navigator that is the radio backup camera all that great stuff and then my side is playing because I don't do no work and then it's overhead storage up there and again overhead storage up here for the most part we just keep like the DVD player um, and stuff and entertainment stuff in there so this is a kitchenette table 
but you know for pretty most part we just like lay it flat and then my girls uh sit there you know they lay there but that is a table with storage underneath and then this also has storage underneath but we don't really keep a lot of stuff in here and then here is the kitchen child let me try to get some light because they trying to make me pull out my ring light you know why you doing it okay so then this is the kitchen we have drawer storage here um and then uh that is a full-size sink one thing i really liked about this when we have brought it like i don't like especially in a small space the dividers because you know we don't you like yeah it's an rv it's made for small spaces but the pots and stuff like that there's no such thing of small rv pots you know what i'm saying so i, I need space but anyway so then oh okay i put that back here ain't nobody got time so that's pretty much the kitchen we do have a full-size residential microwave and then gas top three burner stove Ugh. like that and then we do have an oven but true life confessions i don't use that oven and for the most part unless we're out when it's raining and stuff i really don't use the gas top he cooks on the griddle outside so once you leave the kitchen i say leave like you're going far child if you look to the left uh that's the control panel um thermostats lighting inverter controls the battery power controls the generator black water tank gray water tank all that boring stuff we do have two AC units, one in the main cabin, and then one back in the bedroom. And then we do have a full-size refrigerator. These two bottom doors is the refrigerator. And then, oh, for your story, the two top is the freezer with an ice maker and it runs off of electric or propane while we're moving driving down the road we use the propane and then once we get to where we're going um we usually go places with full hookups hey y'all uh full hookups and use electric so this is the bathroom right this is the bathroom this is okay i'm sorry um sink so when we chose this we didn't really care about double sinks because we're usually vacationing camp and you know you don't need all the amenities of your house you know what i'm saying just the amenities that allow you to you know wash your boot tie while you out in the dirt okay so we need a full size shower all right that is the shower is that a good pro angle probably not but we do have a good size shower what i love about this is that i'm you know pretty i'm pretty tall is that a fair statement i'm five eight right so this lifts up and adjusts to my height and then my husband is like six something i don't know what exactly he's six something okay and that lifts up tall enough for his height as well and then we just have you know these are usable cabinets i'm not gonna tell y'all what's inside because it's my business and then a uh, towel rack porcelain toilet and then that's just a foot ladder for you know when i can't reach over stuff what else we got okay and it is a door here for privacy but we have this so like i said as you going down the road your doors won't be knocking and slamming but honestly, even stabilized, uh, we'll close the bathroom door. Because, you know, he needs to. He's, he's just doing his business. Don't care if I see or anything. And then this is our bedroom. This is a full-size bed. We, of course, replaced the mattress. Because if you know anything about RV life, child, these mattresses is garbage. So we did have to order a mattress. It does come with overhead cabinets and lights all those cabinets mine all of them all of them 
And then, of course, uh, bedside tables. Um, and then, TV and a wardrobe. That's my side. Right, what, what can I point? That's my side. That's his side. Out of the four drawers, three of them is mine. <laughs> Y'all know I'll take over a closet in a minute. All right. And then that's it. This is just hanging space. I'm going to show y'all his side because it's probably cleaner than mine. So that's just hanging space. And then, um, child, where you keep his shoes at? He don't probably don't got as much shoes as I do. Okay. Anyway, so that is it. That is the quick tour um, of the inside, the interior of my Jayco preset. So that is it. That is the quick tour of the interior of our uh, Jayco preset. This is a 29V model. Is it? Is it V? Child, I, I'm, I'm about 80% sure I'm right. But if not, I correct myself. Don't judge me. Okay? Um, we typically, y'all know your girl. Y'all know your girl. I will see something on TV, Instagram, commercial, be like, oh, I want to go there. I want to go there. And I have two 65 to 75 pound babies. Okay. I say 65 to 70 pounds because depending on how many cheat days they <laughs> My babies thick. Okay. Um, hotels get expensive for them. So, and then plus, listen. Uh, when it comes to hotels, okay, luxury do have limits there, okay, because I can't stay in a nasty motel. Like, I'm, I'm one of them. I need to be in a nice, expensive hotel because I sleep with my mouth open, okay. I need to know the standards in this hotel, okay. Sheets is clean, okay. So, the kind of hotels I pick, having, you know, big fur babies, it gets expensive. So this is our way. So before this, we had um, a travel trailer, and we used to pull it with our um, what, what we got 2500 Silverado. However, like I said, my babies is thick. Guy, okay? they used to take up the whole back seat. Whole back seat. You know, so it's just like we want a more comfortable ride. So we sold the travel trailer and we got this. But bring them on to the the present here. Um, like I said, when we, when I pick a hotel, they get expensive. So this is a good way for us to, when I get these bright ideas, jump an RV and go. So we went to the car show. He decided he wanted to go to the car show. You like, let him tell it. They had like what do you say, thirty three hundred cars, and they could have. It was it was huge. But I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the food trucks. Or my husband also has a 1957 uh, Chevy Bel Air. So I was paying attention to those, trying to get some ideas of the paint color. Yeah, I know it's his car, but I don't like his paint color. It's white. Like, that's it's white. That's boring. That's boring. But well, so I was paying attention to those cars so I can get some ideas about you know maybe a future paint job but besides that i was there for food okay so i did forget about you guys but you know hopefully a little tour of my home on wheels um made made up for it but and also i don't even know if you're interested so if you're interested and y'all want a more in-depth tour Maybe take y'all on our little getaways and stuff in the motor home. Let me know. Leave it down in the comments. But that is it. So, if you haven't already, go ahead. Go ahead. Like, what you waiting for? It's free. We friends. I know I talk a lot, but that's cool. That Don't even worry about that. Like, just go ahead. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video from me. And then also let me know in the comments. Do you guys want some camping video vlogs, some travel vlogs, all that stuff. Um, and then follow me. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I am at Rakita's Closet. And I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Okay, bye.